<sighs> Back already. You know there's no escape from this place. Whatever, Blender won't stop crashing. I'll get it next time. This is your third crash today. Stop trying to render two things at once. I'll show you a render. Fourth. Fourth crash today. Oh, shut up! Hey gamers, welcome back to another episode of Savannah XYZ, the show that has multiple episodes. Today, we're gonna be talking about a sculpt I did of Link from Tears of the Kingdom in the style of Hades. Uh, and I learned Grease Pencil for this video, so you don't have to. Now, does it make sense that I use Grease Pencil for this style of 3D model in which I could have just texture painted it? Uh, so let's get started. Uh, when we open up ZBrush for the first time with this project, we're going to, Wait, what is that? What is that sound? What is that? No, no, the ad alarm, no, no! Oh my God, no, I'm selling out, I'm selling out, no! Are you tired of the everyday struggles of using your dumb old normal desk? Why does this keep happening to me? Does this happen to you? Babies hate sitting, there has to be another way. Yep, great job, kiddo. Hi, I'm Savannah XYZ, and I'm here to tell you about Flexi Spot. That's right, Flexi Spot. Finally, a desk that understands me. Say goodnight to desk disasters. Okay, can you reach it? Uh, uh, uh. No, I can't reach it. Awesome, thanks, honey. Yeah, but you can bug yourself. Come on down to FlexiSpot.com on the internet and get your FlexiSpot today. Hey, Thanks, FlexiSpot! Flexi Ask your doctor if FlexiSpot is right for you. FlexiSpot has a Black Friday sale going on right now. Link in description. Use code FlexiSpot30 to get an extra $30 off. Maybe I'll do the body in like one piece. No, that would be too chaotic. Why are people posting their credit scores in Discord right now? <laughs> Why does this look so bad? What? Ugh, I like hate my art. It's so bad. I keep having to shake myself awake from the idea. I'm like, oh, nice spring break. Like, I keep thinking like, that's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be so great. We're going to like go to the beach and get drunk. No, we're going to be at home watching puppy pals. <laughs> 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 Radical! Bob from Puppy Pals? I just have a complaint about him. The dogs are like his owner. At the beginning of every episode, it's always some fucking dog shit, no pun intended, where Bob is like, Oh no, I can't find my favorite shirt and I wanted to wear my favorite shirt today. Now I'm so sad. And then like the dogs are like, we've got to get him his shirt back. And so they like go to Hong Kong or some shit. Yeah, they always have to go on a plane. This is a pre-9-11 show in which, like, I guess they can just do that. If I just, like, try and really, like, if I can prove to myself that this is not hard to do, I, like, will be unstoppable. I kind of get it so it looks like one of those little plant animal things. And then that makes it a lot easier to place the spheres and stuff. And uh, sometimes you can turn it into like short hair too. The character has like shorter hair. Every time I use Z Modeler, I like to uh, I like to quick save. Z Modeler, that's like where you can add vertices and stuff, right? It's the scary tool that lets you do like the stuff all the other modeling software can do.
but like in a way weird or artsy way. It's like a fever dream. Like, what if we made modeling like artsy? Every artist should use reference. So I figure what better reference than the source material itself? Let's dive right in and do some gaming. Procrastinating? <laughs> Get a clue, honey. I'm not procrastinating. You're procrastinating. I'm, I'm working. This is work right now, okay? Oh man, oh shrine. <laughs> I can't watch it. Any cutscenes I'm not required to, I'm sorry. Unless you guys really wanted to see like going down the elevator. Mm, I'm more interested in this menu. I've seen enough videos of like going down a shaft. Ah, spider, spider. No, <laughs> you gotta catch it, let it outside. <laughs> Apparently, if it's a spider that prefers being inside and you'd let it outside, you just killed it. Good. I don't want any inside spiders to be alive. <laughs> You're horrible. I just think it's really rude of them to have evolved that way at all. Like, that's very presumptuous, don't you think? <laughs> Dude, that's the Chucky Mook water from Willy Wonka. I solved with a puzzle. Oh. Yeah, nice one. Solve with the puzzle. You could call that Zelda, because it's a ball and chain. <laughs> I hate my wife. <laughs> I did not even get it in the hole. It's just like I can't watch this anymore to stick to see. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> it's his little poo. <laughs> I don't know who would win in a fight between Pink and Solax. I think he has a vulnerability. His pancreas? <laughs> no, no, his ponytail, bro. He's got long hair. I could just pull it. You just gotta yank his ponytail? Yeah, try him. That's so lame. You pull the blender hat down over his eyes and yank on his ponytail. <laughs> what the f I just got sent a letter from a college. A map on the back and they have my exact location on it. Oh, that's creepy. Wait, what do you, so wait, what do you mean? You're Why do they have, they have oh. my address listed and pinpointed on the map? I'm going to eat this one like the others. <laughs> wow. oh, no! I should have had insulin before I did that. Oh, shoot. My garbage in my room is full. Now I have to walk out past my parents and explain to them why I was biting into the litter and not why I'm just like, like, I'll be back. <laughs> Let's have Brian pick one. All right, Brian, you're up. What do I pick? Yeah, um, ooh, that one's blue. Hey, what did that even do? I don't know. It gave you a blue rare. Uh, it's blue, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. What is the one on the right? What is the red vapor on the right? That's what I'm using right now. It's the Advent Rail. Look, is that just like a gun? It's a fucking gun. <laughs> it's like straight up a fucking gun. Excellent. Savannah, favorite god? Favorite uh, god? Oh. Uh... Jesus. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it was Jesus the whole time. <laughs> Time to get that jawline in here. Oh yeah. Link's been doing some mewing. Kind of going for some Zagreus proportions here. He's got like a crazy big upper body and like little chicken legs. All right, now we're gonna do some posing with Auto Rig Pro. <laughs> no, but seriously, I really do use Auto Rig Pro all the time in my own work, and I use it for all of my animations. And I will never rig another character again uh, for as long as I live. But yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just rigging the character very, very quickly, and I'm just trying to get it into a pose. I made this braid using a curve in Blender with this tutorial by Blender Art, which I'll link in the description below. It's a really short tutorial and it's really awesome and helpful, so definitely check that out if you get a chance. Whoosh, we're back in ZBrush. See, I told you, everything's gonna be okay. So here, now we're gonna immediately ZBrush this 
the sash. We're going to clean it up. We're going to get this to a more sculptable state through zebra mesher, which is going to like make the topology not good, but it's going to, it's going to make it sculptable by gritting it out. And uh, that's going to be what we want to really get this into its like final high poly form. And we're going to just ignore all of those really cool, weird artifacts and errors that we got from posing the sculpt in, in Blender because we're going to have clothes on top of this character. We're going to we're gonna re-sculpt things, we're gonna clean it up. We don't need to worry about that. Another awesome thing about low poly sculpting is that once you really get your kind of PS1 looking ass kind of shapes in there, then you can immediately subdivide and it's basically done. Alright, we did it. We finished all the sculpting. This is our kind of final sculpt. And now we're like permanently in Blender. We're gonna start setting up the materials. And then once the materials are set up, we're gonna do some grease pencil. We're gonna get greasy with that pencil. What we're gonna start with is a very, very, very simple tune shader. And that's just any material into a shader to RGB node, which is just turning all of the shader info, like the light and everything into color. All right, now that our materials are pretty much done, we're gonna start doing some painting with lights. And uh, all that means is because the tune shaders can only be one of three colors dependent on like the value that the light is hitting the surface, we're going to use lights to basically force different colors in different areas. So I'm gonna basically start with one like sun, one directional light that, to kind of generally light it the way that I want it to be. And then I'm gonna use a bunch of tiny point lights with really small values to adjust it. You can see how when there's no other lights in the scene, this little teeny tiny point light is like doing all the heavy lifting and you know, moving it around the meshes, creating those different colors and stuff. So that's the general principle we're going for here. Oh my God, I'm so excited to talk about this because I feel like no one really knows about it and uh, it's just super cool. All right, I, I, I do understand how lame this sounds right now. I do understand, but that's okay because that's how cool it is. I'll be lame for you guys. Uh, I wanna talk about anti-lights and that's like not an actual name. It's just kind of like what I call them because that's kind of what they are. And they do what they sound like, which is uh, they, they take light away. Woo, this is so cool. All you gotta do is just take a light and you know, set it to a negative value and then it will uh, be an anti-light. It does the opposite of what a light does. Oh my God, the moment you've all been waiting for. It is so time, we are so back. It's time to learn Grease Pencil. Let's fucking go. Our bread and butter is gonna be working with the application mode, which is gonna be surface for us. We're also gonna use view in the dropdown right next to it. Surface means it's just gonna snap to the mesh. There's some values in there. We can change for how far away we want it to snap to the mesh that will change based on how zoomed in you are with your camera. I know, it's a blender, you're so quirky. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. You can alleviate this by making the value super small. I usually like try and change it depending on what it is I'm working with. I have repainted this stupid face so many times. Oh, I've been oscillating back and forth on the roller coaster of it's so over and we're so back. But that's the nice thing about Grease Pencil. You can do it forever, I guess. <sighs> Let's finish this.
All right, great workout though today, guys. We did some sculpting, we did some grease pencil. Let's see what we made. that seals the darkness. This is the Hylian champion. Well, I suppose I've caused somewhat of a calamity myself down here. In the name of Hades, I accept this message. Um, could you run that by me one more time? <laughs> 